Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a general timeless reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. This is the Pisces Club after all. I want to thank you all so much for being here, for joining me, hanging out, and clicking on this particular video out of all of the videos that you could have chosen. So thank you. Today, Universe Spirit, we want a general but very accurate timeless reading for Pisces. So please, for those who have clicked on this video, what is it that they need to hear? What is the confirmation, the advice, the prediction, the guidance that they could benefit from? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, you guys, let's see. So this deck is gorgeous. I like to combine my nails, my mugs, and my watch with my cards. I know, whatever, geeky. I love it. And in this particular case, I think that these are like so matchy-matchy with my whole set that I think I might do several readings with this deck. I don't tend to do that. I like to do like one different deck per reading, but I'm tempted. So you may see this a lot. <laughs> All right, Spirit, please bring in that me those messages through upright cards that fall on the table. Those are the ones that I'm going to be taking, not the ones that flip or the ones that fall too far away. What does Pisces need to hear? What does Pisces need to hear? What does Pisces need to hear? All right, and I'm going to be complementing this and clarifying with an oracle. Which one? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so let me focus these a little. All right, so Ten of Wands, first card showing up here, Pisces. I don't know, I get this almost attraction that you may be feeling right now to being very busy or to really pushing your limits. I don't feel like this has to do with completing tasks that you don't want to do to the point of exhaustion. I feel like that kind of burnout that happens because of a lack of mindfulness and things just piling up in your life, that is not what I'm going to be talking about for this one. This one, what I'm feeling is that some of you are almost desiring to test your boundaries, your limits, test how long can you study, how many degrees can you get, how far can you go? How fast can you run? How many trophies, medals? I don't know, things you can get. It's like, not even for the sake of achievement, but almost like out of a curiosity and a hunger to know what you're capable of. And that is actually coming in with a lot of very inspiring energy, I gotta say. For some of you, this could be about money and finances. Also about health, because we have here the Queen of Crystals and the Ace of Crystals. In this deck, those are pentacles. So matters of the physical realm, right? The physical body, the home, money, you know, finances. I see that some of you are maybe beginning something. And it's like you're wanting to see how far you can take it. Maybe you're starting a business. And you're wanting to see like how far, how big, how popular, how successful it can be. Some of you are like, you know what, I'm going to do what it takes. Others of you, it could be about your health. 
but it seems like you're taking something that resembles a seed and almost like really making sure that that little thing, that little bit of energy multiplies into the biggest badass tree ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're really almost making sure that on all perspectives and angles, you're making sure that everything is ideal for this creation. Some of you, this could be you being pregnant. And it's like you have this, this power to protect that being. To make sure that that being is taken care of in every single way possible. And that every single thing that you can possibly do is done for the best possible potential, right? For some of you, that could be the case. But for most of you, I feel like this is about you. This is about honing your strength. We got here the card of victory. So if this is you and this is resonating with you, know that I feel like you are not aware of how far you can go. Our mind gives up so much quicker than our body. Like our body can go on. Our, body, our bodies are fantastic, impressive, incredible. But our minds tend to need some work. You know, usually with sports, running, you know, marathons, races, things that really, really challenge the mind is the person with the mindset that wins. Of course, granted, they're doing all else <laughs> that needs to be done. Sometimes we think that we can only get this far and that's our limit. But then we keep going and we realize, huh, you know, I still have more fuel. And then we think we're breaking down, but we give a chance uh, to ourselves to be surprised almost. Like, let's just see how far I can go. The body can do incredible things. A mindset is the most powerful thing I think I know <laughs> of in the sense of like whatever you set your mind to Pisces, you can get. Whether that is I want to make a hundred thousand bucks a month, it can be done. Or much more. Whether it is I want to fast for X amount of days, I want to lose or gain X amount of pounds, I want to... Um, eat in this way or that way. I want to do a mega marathon. I don't know. But I do sense here a curiosity. Many of you wondering, how far can I throw this? See how she's almost like gathering momentum here, like testing. How far can I throw this? This creation, this ball of light. I see many of you that perhaps have, perhaps have been in kind of like this hermity mode for a couple of years maybe. And now it's like you're ready to really almost like take the bull by the horns. It's like you're okay with being tired if that's what it takes. I'm hearing pain is momentary, glory lasts forever. So it's really about pushing yourself. Really about pushing yourself and knowing that the mind can be very weak. It's a terrible master, but a wonderful slave. The mind. So make sure that you, as a spirit, are running the show. You know what I mean? Like, make sure that you are running your body. Make sure that you are running your mind. Because these are here to assist you in this human experience, not the other way around. Don't fall prey to whatever the body craves or whatever the mind indulges in you're the one that is sort of like piloting <laughs> or driving the car so to speak let's clarify
Lady Gaga could be relevant for some of you. I saw a documentary, I think, of Lady Gaga ages ago on Netflix. And I remember I was very inspired. I don't remember half of it. I remember she had an issue with her hip. <laughs> and she would go on tour and have like concerts and stuff. And she was like in pain. And she muscled through the whole thing and was very, very pleased with herself. Um, I don't know if that's important or relevant to some of you. Maybe someone is watching that right now as we speak. Or thinking about Lady Gaga for some reason. Let's see. Clarifications, please. Yeah, it's like there's a lot of emotional fulfillment in the hard work, Pisces. Ten of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Cups. The hustle, right? The I'm going to do all it takes. I'm going to do everything I can. That focused, almost warrior mentality is very emotionally fulfilling for some of you right now. So allow yourself to have that is if this is you. There could be a Capricorn Virgo, Taurus here, strongly Taurus, who may not understand, may not understand how or why you fight so hard for things. They may be like, oh my gosh, you know, Pisces trains every day for three hours to do a fucking race in which if they win, they don't get anything but a damn medal. They don't get it. And Pisces, you may be like, you know what? No one can take that away from me. No one can take away the fact that I run a whatever ultra marathon, or that I did this th this Inca Trail hike, or that I did this incredible successful thing, that I pushed myself to the limits. It's like there could be someone here that simply don't get it. Don't make them try. Like don't try to make them get it. They don't have to. They it just, this doesn't have to make sense to anyone else but you. The lovers. There could be someone here. Could be a Gemini. Could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This person may be... Like... Ugh, I don't know why Pisces is focusing so much on their business. Or so much on money. Or so much on their career. Or their health. They should be looking for love. Okay, so this could be like a mother, a father, a grandma, an aunt whatever this could be someone even like a friend who is kind of like why aren't you doing everything in your power to be married by 30 it's like they don't they don't get your pursuit of greatness pisces if it resonates with you of course but you are very pure in this sense i feel like some of you it's like this feeds your spirit somehow. Knowing what you're capable of. Learning what you're capable of. Some of you are shifting perspectives and starting to see your efforts and your desires, your routines, your habits. You're starting to see those as a very magical process in, its, it, in themselves. And you're starting to kind of like put aside the outcome and getting very passionate about just trying to do that seemingly impossible thing you know what I mean that is fun that is exciting that makes you feel all this passion Pisces someone could be paying a lot of attention to you uh, you know this is it's funny that I'm getting this reference here. I remember when I started YouTube ages ago, um, I would record tarot readings, right? And my mom would see me record and record and record and she would be like, but you don't even know if like you can get paid living in Panama. Like you don't even know if that's like a thing. You're like, we have never seen any YouTubers that are Panamanian or whatever back then, of course. And I was just like, what if, though? You know what I mean? Like, what if? What if? And indeed, you know, it did happen. But if it was for her, <laughs> honestly, if I would have listened, I would have been like, yeah, you know what? Yes. Like, let's just focus on whatever is immediately, obviously, um, assured. 
So Pisces, some of you may be going against what someone is saying or thinking. You may be going against um, naysayers. Maybe you really want to study occult studies or be an archaeologist or something or cultural stuff. And there could be like a parent or a family member that's like, that's not going to make you money, la 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 la. Prove them wrong, Pisces. It's the best feeling in the world. Nine of Wands. Throughout your life, you have been through... You have been through a lot, Pisces. So you know not to quit, but instead to pace yourself. It is a good time at this in this moment to remember that sometimes your mind may play tricks on you. You may feel extremely exhausted, but your body's not exhausted. Your mind might be, okay? The body can do so much more than the mind thinks. Mindset. If someone here is offering you uh, like a mastermind group or like something that has to do with mindset, money mindset, money expansion mindset, health, um, I don't know, like these very inspirational things, take it. You know, if it resonates with you, take it. There could be an invitation here or an offer here that could help you expand and find people who allow themselves to think in the same way that you do. Just, let's just see how far we can go, Pisces. There's this movie, um, In God's Hands, about a surfer who was like, uh, crazy enough to think that he could go into like big wave surfing without like a jet ski to propel him into the, into the thing. To catch the wave, everyone said that it was impossible, that that could not be done, that he couldn't possibly paddle hard enough to actually get those waves himself. He died trying. You know, he proved everyone wrong, but he did die trying. And it's super, like, a very inspirational, crazy movie with that kind of vibe, right? Putting everything on the line to, you know, for an ideal. So Pisces, is this resonating with you? Let me know. Comment below, comment below in the comment section and tell me that one thing that you wonder if you're capable of doing. That maybe you're like, that's a, that's a toll order, but I could probably do it if I really set my mind into it. I wanna know. And that movie, uh, it has kind of like a introduction that would always catch my attention. How far are you willing to go? How much are you willing to take? How good do you really want to be? Or something like that. It's very intense, very powerful energy. All right, Pisces. I'm curious about those comments. I'm curious. Very interesting reading, but I love it. You know, don't let your mind put that fire out. Let's find out how far you can go, Pisces. All right. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next reading, Pisces. Bye. Thank you for joining me today, by the way.